Stanford firefighters say that they spent nearly an hour and tens of thousands of gallons of water extinguishing a Tesla battery fire after it ignited Thursday morning. First responders say fires like these will only become more common as more EVs hit the road. News 12 Connecticut Sean McCabe has more from Stanford Fire Headquarters. Sean? Yeah, Eric, Stanford firefighters were telling me they got to test out some new techniques yesterday morning as they <laughs> tried to fight what is the, the first electric vehicle fire in Stanford's history. I could tell immediately that the battery and the electrical you know, system on the Tesla was what was involved and what was burning. Deputy Chief Eric Lorenz says electric car fires burn hotter than traditional car fires and offer different problems. When the batteries vent, the fire vents under pressure and it's almost like a welding torch. It has a unique sound to it. It was uh, 43 minutes from our time of our arrival until the time we declared it extinguished. Captain uh, Philip Hayes says this kind of fire can't be smothered and cooling it down takes a lot of time and water. We started adding more hose lines and we got up to three hose lines and uh, once we flooded the thing with enough water, the fire went out. Fire crews spraying 600 gallons of water a minute for over 40 continuous minutes. This fire required 21,000 gallons of water, which would be roughly um, 15, 12 to 15 of these fire engines. Electric vehicle fires a concern for departments across the country as more EVs hit the road every day. It has been the topic of conversation and the focus of a lot of our staff meetings within the past couple of months. First responders say firefighting techniques and safety tech will both have to do better as lithium ion batteries become more ubiquitous. Not just in vehicles, but in, in little scooters. Um, so the, these batteries are becoming prob problematic for the fire department. Firefighters say they were on scene there from just before noon until almost nine Thursday night. For now in Stanford, Sean McCabe, News 12 Connecticut.